carbon capture and storage is a technology for mitigating climate change that can apply to our existing fleet of power plants. Um, in short, what it entails is capturing the CO2 or the, the CO2 in the emissions from a power plant and injecting them deep under the earth and storing them permanently. It's um, often called CCS for short and is often seen as an important part in a portfolio of technologies for climate change because of our heavy reliance on coal-fired power generation. CCS can apply to other types of processes that emit CO2, but it is the only solution that can apply to the existing fleet power plants. When most people first start, first imagine CCS, they imagine that the CO2 is being injected into a vacuous space that's under the earth. Part of the reason that we know that CCS can be done in a way that's permanent and secure is because it's actually injected into the pore spaces in a rock formation. The CO2 goes into the spaces, in the tiny spaces that are in between the pores of the rock and is physically and permanently trapped. Another important feature of an effective site for CCS is an effective cap rock that prevents the upward migration of CO2. You can see the difference between these two rock formations. This rock formation has pores where the CO2 can be stored. This rock formation is, is very dense and will prevent the upward migration of CO2. One of the interesting things about carbon capture and storage is that the individual technology pieces have been applied in other industries. Capture technologies have been used by industry for years to produce food grade CO2 for beverages for other and for other industrial applications. The technologies for injecting and transporting CO2 have been in place by industry and used in, have been used by the oil industry for enhanced oil recovery, which is a process where they inject CO2 under the earth to improve the miscibility of oil and recover more oil. It's been done in the United States since the 1970s and provides a, a good background for how to safely inject CO2, although the goals in enhanced oil recovery are very different and they're not looking for permanent storage. That said, although the individual technology pieces have been in place and used by other industries, there are some challenges that remain to the deployment of CCS. Um, the, the, the first is cost. The technology, when you the technology to capture the CO2 from a power plant is costly. Applying it to our existing coal-fired fleet would significantly increase the cost of electricity um, beyond what society is likely willing to pay. The, the second major obstacle or challenge facing CCS is that we haven't done an integrated demonstration. We, we have experience injecting, CC, injecting CO2 in the subsurface, as I mentioned, through enhanced oil recovery. There also have been a number of industrial projects that have taken place around the world that have injected about a million tons of CO2 per year. A um, million tons of CO2 per year is a fraction of what would be emitted from a normal, typical coal-fired power plant. We haven't, so we haven't, we, we have done the pieces in various ways, but what we haven't done is we haven't done them in an integrated way and at full scale. Right now, we would classify the technology in a period known as the Valley of Death. It's been demonstrated at small scale. The pieces are the pieces are there, but we haven't done it in an integrated way at the scale that we need. Getting the financing to do the integrated demonstration that we need is, is certainly a challenge. And the government has a robust R&D program. They put a lot of money in. Industry has contributed to that. But ultimately, finding the financing to get the technology demonstrated at scale is the next step. And the insurance community is also an important, an important decision maker going forward. We have some positive news on that front. We have insurers who are saying that they're willing to underwrite projects, but it is another thing. It hasn't, it hasn't yet happened. And um, some experience in terms of succeeding in some early demonstrations will go a long ways towards moving the technology forward.